Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So I hope things are looking a little bit crisper, hopefully a little better quality. Um, I got a new phone, so I'm now filming on that instead of my iPad, so I hope things are better. I feel like this frame is much wider than what I usually film with, but I'm really excited to kind of amp up the quality of my videos um, and just kind of test this out. I, this is the first video that I filmed with this new equipment. Um, and yeah, also I'm sorry if my makeup does not look perfect. It's been on for like six hours already. But it is finals week when I'm currently filming this, so I don't really have time to completely wipe it off, but I got the urge to film, so I wanted to do something. So I just added some eyeshadow and touched it up a little bit. Anyways, enough rambling. Let's talk about what today's video is actually going to be about. So today's video is going to be a lip roulette shot my stash type series that I'm starting on my channel. I am trying so hard to come up with a creative name for it. Hopefully by the time I get this posted, um, I will have a better name for it because Lip Roulette Shop My Stash is too long and it's not catchy at all. So this video is actually a collab with my friend Alexandria from Eyes of Alexandria. Um, I will link her YouTube and her Instagram down below along with her version of this video. Um, but it was actually inspired by two people. Um, so the first person it was inspired by was Kitty Approved Beauty. Oh, that's her Instagram name. Her YouTube name is Sarah Rose. I will link her down below as well. Um, but she does this series on her channel, it's called Four Lipsticks, Four Weeks, um, and basically she chooses four lipsticks randomly out of her lip collection, uses them for four weeks, kind of gives us some feedback at the end of those four weeks, um, and I really like that idea of kind of moving through your lip stash, but she has a very, very small lip stash, um, and so I do not, so I had to modify it just a little bit, and for that aspect, I was inspired by, uh, a beauty guru made me buy it. Um, she's doing a video series right now. She's a panning channel, so she does so many amazing panning videos. Um, but her, she's doing a Hunger Games themed project pan, and what they did for that one was they put like 50 products in like a bin, and then you had to like draw 20 out in like 30 seconds or something like that. So I kind of did a modified version of that. Uh, mostly because I didn't want to enter all of my lip products into a spreadsheet that would take me like an hour and I just did not want to do that. So instead I picked a selection of 25 lippies out of my collection. I have a couple categories that these lipsticks fall into, um, but we'll get into that in two minutes. So I have those 25 in each month or however often we decide to do this series, but I'm kind of thinking it'll be on a monthly basis. Um, I will go into here, I will pick out five more using a random number generator. So I'm going to use those five lippies throughout the month um, and then come back in the next video, give you guys kind of an update on how I'm feeling about those. The main reason why I wanted to do something like this was because I feel like I get into a rut so, so easily with lip products like I have been using, where are they, these Buxom tinted lip balms for months now, almost every single day. So I fall into a rut really, really easily with lip products and I have a lot in my collection. So. I was sitting it down the other day, I was thinking, oh, you know, I think I'm going to declutter my lip products, but a lot of those ones I was pulling out that I was like, hmm, maybe I should declutter this. I'm like, hmm, I feel like I haven't given this enough of a chance yet. So hopefully throughout this series, I will get some more use out of my lip collection um, and really kind of determine what I want to keep and what I'm good with getting rid of. So without further ado, let's hop into my choices. So there are 25 lippies in this basket and I decided to break my choices down into five categories just to spice it up to make it a little bit more fun. Um, and so the first category is never worn lippies in my collection, which I feel like this is kind of embarrassing. It's definitely embarrassing and a little bit shameful, honestly, like, ugh. So hopefully throughout this project, I will get some use out of these lippies and figure out whether there's something I really do want to keep in my collection. So for never worn, I did kind of throw in one or two that I've definitely like swatched on my hand or wore once for like 30 seconds just because I felt like that's still like never worn like I've never worn it for an extended period of time let's leave it at that um and I also wanted to mention really quickly before I kind of get into the products I put in a multitude of lip products I have a lip liner I have glosses I have um like a matte transformer I have uh, liquid lipsticks I have metallic liquid lipsticks I just wanted this to be kind of like a smorgasbord of lip products so without further ado, let's hop into the five never worn lippies that I'm putting into this project. So the first one is the ColourPop Lippy Sticks in the shade Chai Chai, Kai Kai, it's like C-H-I-C-H-I. -C -H -I. Um, I got this as a freebie in a recent order 
and I think it's gorgeous. It's like a beautiful like red orange, but I've never worn it yet because I'm really not that big on lip liners, but I've heard amazing things about these ones and I would really like to get some use out of it. The next one that I chose is this Ofra li Liquid Lipstick in the shade Monaco. This was sent to me by my super sweet friend Carrie Loves Beauty. Um, and it is gorgeous, but I'm afraid of metallic lips, honestly. I don't know why, because I feel like this could be a super pretty wearable metallic shade, so I'm really hoping this will push me out of my comfort zone enough to actually use this one, um, because I think it could be really, really pretty, you guys. Next one I want to throw in is this AOA Studio Liquid Lipstick in the shade Bless. This is a gorgeous, like, corally pinky shade that I think I'm going to love so, so much this summer. Um, and this is also another one that, like, I wore it once to get a little bit of a feel for the formula. I don't think it was even for very long. Um, and then I just put it back in my drawer because it wasn't really a shade I was reaching for in the winter time. So I'm super excited to use this one. Um, and then I also have the Smashbox Instamat Lip Transformer. I got this in a mini set of Smashbox lipsticks about a year ago? Two years ago? Year and a half ago? Something like that. It's been in my collection for quite a while. And I have never used this and I don't know why it's kind of a really cool product and then finally I want to throw in this physicians formula I don't know if they consider this like a gloss healthy lip transformer this one's in the shade opalescent it's kind of like this opal it's like a white gloss but it has like a pinky purpley shift it's really really pretty I have swatched this on my lips like one time I think but it was for like five minutes and I just wanted to see the color so counting this is never worn as well so the next category of lippies is lippies that i've owned for over two years so lip products technically usually expire after a year but i've held on to a lot of my lippies for longer than that um and the first one it, that i grabbed for this kind of category is the elf matte lip color this one's in the shade berry sorbet it's a beautiful like fuchsia berry shade Oh, it is so so pretty you guys. This is one of my favorite matte lip formulas and I don't know why people don't talk about these more. They are absolutely fantastic. The next one I put in here was the Maybelline Color Burst in the shade Ready or Not. This is something that I feel like I lusted over for so so long but once I got it I really didn't reach for it all that much. Um, it's just kind of a creamy lipstick. I feel like I don't reach for this one because of the format that it's in. I feel like I reach for matte reds more often. But I'm really excited to kind of test this one out a little bit more and form some opinions on it. Ooh, this one is old, you guys. Very, very old. I should probably like check and make sure it's not funky. Yeah, it smells fine. We're good. Um, so this is the Sonia Kashuk Sheer Luxe Lipstick. This is like a glossy balm. I feel like this would probably be pretty comparable to those Marc Jacobs... Oh, what are they called? I don't know what those are called, but I'll pop in a picture like right here or right here um, to show you guys what I'm talking about. It's like those uh, glosses that are in like a stick form. They're gorgeous. Um, but this is the Sonia Kashuk Sheer Luxe Lip, and I believe this is in the shade Shell. Sheer Pink Lust. Okay, no, I lied. It's Sheer Pink Lust. But this is a beautiful, beautiful lippy. It's just not something I'm reaching for a ton lately. This next product is something I got in an Ipsy bag, and this is the Model Co. Lip Lacquer in the shade Socialite. It's a beautiful, beautiful coral shade, which is mostly why I grabbed it, because I love this kind of shade for the spring and summer. Finally, I threw in my Bite High Pigment Lip Pencil. This one's in the shade Rhubarb. This one came in a set. Um, I've definitely had this for a while, but it's kind of just a beautiful, like, everyday mauve pink shade. I think it's going to be really, really great. Ooh, okay, this is exciting. The next category I wanted to do was minis. So, surprisingly, I have a lot more mini lippies than I thought I did. Lately, I've been trying to make more of a conscious effort to buy minis when they're available because lippies take a long time to go through, um, and I don't want to just have them, like, on my hands just expiring because I can't use them fast enough. So I thought it would be fun to throw in some, lip some mini lips in here. So the first one that I threw in was this Urban Decay lipstick. This one's in the shade 714, and it's one of their comfort mattes. This is a gorgeous, gorgeous red shade. Oh, look at how freaking cute this little thing is. I think... The packaging on this is just the cutest. I love that it's like actually a mini version of the big one and they didn't like skimp on any of the cuteness. Next thing I wanted to throw in here was this Jouer liquid lipstick. This one's in the shade Naked and this is teeny teeny tiny. It's so cute and little. Um, it's just a really pretty pinky nude shade. I also wanted to throw in this Smashbox Always On liquid lipstick. This one's in the shade Rust Fun and it's kind of a metallic coppery reddish shade 
I don't know. I don't know about you guys. This one, you guys. And then finally, I put in one of my Little Positions Formula Healthy Lip Minis. This one's in the shade All Natural Nude. It's just a beautiful kind of pinky nude. Pinky nude? Tannish nude? It's a pretty nude. I'm very, very excited to wear that one. And then the final one that I put in there is also from that Jouer set. And this one is in the shade Rosé kind of like a metallic mauve shade. I think this might be a metallic that I might actually get some use out of. We'll have to see. So this next category is a little bit boring, I'm not gonna lie you guys, but I am actually starting a new job in a couple of days and it's in an office setting so I can't really wear crazy lip colors so I wanted to throw myself a bone and I created an everyday lip kind of category. So the first one that I put into there was this Neutrogena Hydro Boost Hydrating Lip Gloss. This one is in the shade Radiant Rose. This is a little baby that I got in that Walmart like lippy bag. It's just a pretty pink gloss. It's very, very sheer, but it feels really nice on the lips. So I thought this would be great for every day. Um, I also grabbed this e.l.f. gloss that is totally worn off. There's like no label on here at all. I think these are the extra glosses or something like that. This one's in the shade Michael. It's a really pretty mauve shade. It has some shimmer in it as well. Um, and I really like the texture of these glosses. I don't know why I don't reach for them more, uh, but I'm hoping since it's in this little project, um, I'll get some more use out of it. Next one I threw in is the ColourPop Gloss in Aquarius. This is a beautiful pinky nude gloss. This is one that I definitely reach for more on an everyday basis. Um, I really love the ColourPop Gloss formula, so I'm really going to enjoy using that. I also threw in my Rimmel London Provocalypse. Um, this is like a dual ended system. This is like a matte liquid lipstick and then this is like a gloss balm kind of deal. This one's in the shade Make Your Move. It's kind of in a... Uh, I don't even know how to describe that color. It's like a My Lips But Better color. So I think this is going to be super awesome for days in the office. And then I did throw in one more of my Physicians Formula Healthy Lips. And this one's in Dose of Rose. It's just a beautiful pink shade. And I'm very, very excited to test this one out. So the final category of lippies is lippies outside my comfort zone. So I have a lot of lippies in my collection that I may have only bought for like a specific look or um, sometimes I get them in like boxy charms or ipsies and like they're not quite my taste but they, you know they're just kind of something fun that I think oh maybe I'll use this every once in a while. So I want to throw some of these in here just to get some more use out of them. So you're going to see a lot of metallic just warning you. So the first one that I put in is this pretty vulgar liquid lipstick. This one is in the shade My Lips Are Sealed. It's like a beautiful like champagne -y rose gold shade. I don't know. This is definitely not like an all over lip color but I'm wondering if it'll be pretty kind of popped in the center of my lips so I have hope for this one. We'll see. The next one I threw in is one of my little ABH lipsticks. This one is in the shade Dusty Mauve, and this is a beautiful, beautiful shade. I've worn this like once or twice before, um, but it's definitely something that I'm not really super comfortable rocking every day, so maybe I can create some really cool looks with that one. We'll have to see. Next one I want to throw in is my Wet n Wild Liquid Catsuit Lipstick. This one's in the shade Harbor Crush. It's like a ruby metallic shade. Oh, it's super, super pretty. Tati made me buy this one because I think she did like a whole video on the Wet n Wild. Was this like a pirate collection or something? And she tried this on and I thought it looked so gorgeous on her. But I feel like it just looks brown on me. So we'll have to see if I can make this one work for me because I do think it's a really, really pretty shade. Next one is this Maybelline Superstate Matte Ink Liquid Lipstick. This one's in the shade Her Heroin. 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 I do this every time I have to say the name of this lipstick. Um, but it's a super pretty, like, red-orange shade. Oh, it's pretty. I'm so excited to rock this this summer. This one is just a little bit brighter than what I normally go for, but I'm up for the challenge. And then finally, I have another one of those AOA Studio Liquid Lipstick. And this one is in the shade Tease. It's, like, kind of a soft lilac -y tone. It's really, really different for me. It's definitely not a color that I would rock on an everyday basis, but I thought it was kind of fun, kind of different, um, and it's definitely outside of my comfort zone. All right, so let's get into the actual project itself now that I've kind of showed you my picks. Um, so I really just want to get some more use out of my lippies, like I said, using different lippies than the ones that I'm intending to grab for, gravitate towards every single day, um, and I think this will be a really fun way to do it. So I am going to track how many times I use each lippie so I can report back next month um and yeah i think that's about it so oh another thing i wanted to mention i am not going to do um 
like one lippy per week. I'm just gonna kind of try to use these throughout the month. I know that Sarah Rose does that in her four weeks for lipsticks uh, series, but I don't really want to do that because I'm a lippy mixer. Like usually when I film videos today, I just have like on a tinted lip balm because I knew I was gonna be trying on a lot of lipsticks, but I am a lip cocktail kind of girl. So sometimes I have like three or four lip products on at once when I actually decide to wear lipstick. Um, so I don't really want to restrict myself because that's just not really how I wear lip products. So let's get into my picks for this month. As I talk about each product, I will be doing a quick little lip swatch for you guys so you can see how they end up looking on my lips. So I did kind of put these into a spreadsheet and then I went to random number generator um, and kind of picked them out that way. So I can't quite show you guys that anymore because my phone is my camera now. So you're just gonna have to trust me on that. But the first one that I picked was the ColourPop Gloss and Aquarius. I am very, very excited that I picked this one. This is such an easy, no fuss gloss. It is one of my favorites in my collection and it's a beautiful, just everyday pinky color. It's so, so great. The next one that I picked was my Physician's Formula Healthy Lip Liquid Lipstick in the shade Dose of Rose. This is a gorgeous kind of pinky mauve shade. Um, I think I'm going to absolutely love this as a little pop of color that's still kind of off as appropriate to go along with the weather. It's warming up. I tend to wear some brighter colors on my lips um, and I think this will be a really fun one to have. Speaking of brighter colors, we have the e.l.f. Matte lip color in the shade Berry Sorbet. This is that beautiful berry that I showed you guys earlier. I am so, so excited about this one. I love rocking these kind of shades. And now we have the two that I'm a little less excited about, but I want to push myself to use these a little bit more. The first one is the Pretty Vulgar Liquid Lipstick in the shade My Lips Are Sealed. Like I said, you guys, I just, I know that I can't, not that I can't, that I don't enjoy wearing this full on. And I've kept it for so long because I thought, oh, maybe I could use it as an eyeliner or as a cream shadow, but I don't use it for that. So I'm trying to find a way to make this work. And if I can't, I'll just move it out of my collection. And then finally, I have the Jouer Liquid Lipstick in the shade Rosé. I'm actually, okay, I'm a little more excited about this one because I feel like this could be a wearable metallic that I might actually enjoy. Um, but we'll have to see. We shall see. So that's actually going to wrap this little intro video up. I really, really hope that you guys are as excited for this series as I am. I am in such a shop my stash mood right now. Um, and so I'm really kind of motivated to come up with more ways to shop my stash, switch things up, keep things creative and fun, and find new ways to love my collection. Make sure you guys go check out Alexandria's video. I cannot wait to see her picks for this series. And I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye!